Hey, it's Tree. Welcome back to another video. Today I am touring sketchbook number 45 for you guys. Uh, for me, this is sketchbook 37. I started this sketchbook January 28th of 2019 and only recently finished it. A big reason for that is that this sketchbook has a lot of my schoolwork in it. So for the first assignment that you saw, uh, she had us take leaves and um, basically draw it in different ways. Um, and then there's some pictures for a project that I had to um, basically draw in an abstract way, I believe. And then there's some um, contour drawings where basically you draw without looking at the paper. There's quite a few of them, but yeah, they just all hang out in the folder at the very front, which I can't show you because it has my name on it. Um, I also painted the cover myself at some point. Um, and then I got into another project, which was taking um, some words and drawing a picture with it. And then she gave us some pictures um, that actually her grandfather took in World War II or postcard, something like that. Um, I thought it was neat and I didn't mind the picture that I created. Um, and then these photos again are from that project I was talking about. Um, and I forgot my pens that day so I could not um, start the project yet. So that's just how it was. I did finish this project. I do still have it. Um, I think I'll tour my college portfolio at some point. Just not right now. I don't feel like digging that out. Another thing was that we had to trace objects and create fantasy objects. Um, and then that picture with the blue color pencils. Um, she has to take tracing papers and then um, just basically copy stains and things like that. That's all that is. Um, and then this next project with the bunny and the dice and several other objects um, on tracing paper. Uh, that was for a mobile I made of, like, a children's, um, magic birthday party type of thing. I had fun with it. And then, uh, she had us cut paper and then glue it a certain way. So that's what that is. And, of course, you got your perspective drawings. You, you can't escape perspective drawings ever in college. And then the next few is stuff from my color theory class. And when you're in color theory class, you have to make a bunch of color wheels. It's very tiring. Um, and then there's these pictures of my cat that I drew. You had to create several different versions uh, with different colors. Um, and I took a picture of my cat and then used that as a reference to create um, those pictures. Um, and then I used a picture of a cloud that I created. So she's like in a little cloud blanket. I think it's cute. I also threw in um, a random painting from a zine that I did. Uh, just because I didn't like the page underneath. <sighs> the next assignment is doing a color wheel and then having like a picture with the color wheel. I didn't like the first one, but I did like the next one of my cats. Just more, more color wheels and junk. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, we were going over transparency, so that's what that pumpkin head drawing is. You had to have so many objects that were transparent, and that's just how it came out. I definitely like to paste old pictures in the blank pages. Uh, another project, she had us take different things and kind of collage it. And now these last pages are when I finally decided that I wanted to finish this sketchbook. So I came back and I drew a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, just so that way I could finish it because I wanted it finished. Um, I felt bad that it was sitting on my shelf for so long. So the reason why I didn't finish this sketchbook um, until now was because I was kind of hoping to take more art classes at some point. And then this sketchbook would just be my art class drawings, but I don't know when I'm going to go back to school or if I will go back to school, so that's that's just the state of the sketchbook right now. 
and I decided I just didn't want it to sit around, so we're finishing it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble, and I will see you next time.